If you recall last fall, we took a whole bunch of cuttings, we put them in glass jars on the windowsill, and now they've got some serious roots on them and it's time to plant. We've got cuttings of bloodleaf, coleus, and sweet potato vines that are ready to be planted. You'll need plastic pots, plastic trays, and one person can do this, but four hands are better than two. Gently tease apart the roots from the cutting and then set the cutting in the middle of the pot. And that's when your partner will help fill the soil in around the roots. Then gently bang the pot on the counter to settle the soil and then add a little bit more as needed. Place your newly potted plants in a tray and then water them from below. The soil will wick up all of the moisture, making sure that the roots get the water. You can't guarantee that if you're watering them from above. And we're not done yet. Now you need to use a pair of scissors or your fingers to just pinch out the top growth of the leaves. This will encourage the plants to get bushy. If you don't do this, you're gonna end up with just a long, lanky stem. But use your discretion. This little guy's getting a little too long, so I'm gonna take it back just a little bit further. If you pinched when you first made the cuttings last fall, you may already have a little bit of a bushy plant. Set your plants in a sunny window or under some grow lights, but don't fertilize them quite yet. We don't want an explosion of growth. We want tight, compact growth. If you didn't take cuttings last fall, but you saved plants, you can still take cuttings. These blood leaves need a good trimming. Cut just below the leaf, and then you strip off the bottom leaves and place them into a jar. Gardeners have been doing this for centuries, and it's completely low tech. You don't need any special equipment. And look at this nice flat of plants. Imagine how much that would cost you in the spring. So get a jump on spring and get busy.